salmon berries are pretty similar in shape to blackberries. You want to get them when they're dark red like this. They don't have a ton of flavor. Um, my kids absolutely love these. I think they have a little bit of a bitter flavor, but it's all really about your palate. So I recommend trying them and seeing what you think. So you want to get them at the super dark red. You can eat the lighter red colored ones. They're gonna be pretty sour though. How do you know if you're looking at a salmon berry plant? Let's look at the leaves. First, the stems are gonna be very flexible and they don't have a lot of thorns, except on the backs. There's little tiny thorns on the backs, but not too much. And the leaves are gonna come in this pattern. Two small, one large. Two small right across from each other and one large. They're gonna have these saw-like edges. And the leaves are pretty distinct with this little cutout in here. Once you get deeper into the plant, you're going to have this thicker stalk. And this thicker stalk is going to have a lot of thorns on it. Showed you earlier the red ones. These are the yellow ones. They're actually more orange. But you can tell that they're ripe. So one, they come off super easy. And two, those are super juicy. Now, I think that the orange ones have a slightly more um, floral flavor, which I really enjoy. These are the red type of huckleberries, and right now they are not ripe yet. This is way too pink to eat. They start with these little green buds, <laughs> and then they turn into this darker red. Let's see if I can find a good one. Now these pink ones are edible, but you're not going to want to eat a bunch of them until they are a deeper red. They're going to be super sour. So how do you tell a huckleberry from other berries? If you look closely, the little shape in here is very similar to a blueberry. And they're going to have these small oval alternating leaves very flexible green stem and as you get farther into the plant <laughs> the main branches are going to be harder these usually grow in shaded areas shaded and moist areas to be specific these are thimble berries so when you're out foraging and you see these, remember where they're at. They're not gonna be ripe for probably a couple more weeks to a month, but these are probably the best wild berry that we have. They and are. You can tell that you have a thimble berry because of these big leaves. And how do they feel? They feel so soft. They are really fuzzy. And they're really soft. The berries are hard to pick because they can be destroyed very easily. Yes. And then they can make your hands very messy, but you can wash them. Yes, they are super delicate fruit, but they taste like apricots and, and so they're so good. iNaturalist is my favorite app to use when I'm out foraging. It's super simple, you just add your photo put in your location and time and date, and it will give you suggestions based on the information you've included. From there, you can go through and read about the suggestions they have for you and see if you think they're accurate, and you can select those. Other people can go in, look at your photo, and either agree with what you've selected or suggest a different identification for your observation. Thanks for watching and happy foraging!